Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. Now, Cross Watcher, if you are in here and you're dealing with a Virgo, feel free to flip the rolls. But Spirit, what do we have here for my Virgos dealing with an air sign? Give me a card for now and a card for... Okay. <laughs> Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. So I've seen two cards of strength already. Um, let's see what this is. You have the justice. And you have the high priestess. Yeah, there's the two cards. Oh, and the sun. Okay. So the strength card. And then you have a strong woman or man looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink here. So someone could be finding the strength to do the right thing here or make the right choice with the justice. I also see some sort of maybe victory in a legal situation. But let's see what this is about. Could also definitely be something here about someone's intuition with the high priestess. I don't know. I'm also hearing that someone has some sort of inner knowing about the truth. What is the justice? Coming in the reverse. Oh, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know if someone's intuition is telling them about some sort of truth in a situation. And I feel like it's even without having some sort of evidence. Because in the upright, the book talks about education, knowledge. It talks about research. It talks about the unknown. It talks about mystery, which definitely could fit in with the high priestess in secret. Okay, so it's coming in the reverse. What's the high priestess? The crossroads. It says choices, multiple, hesitation. It says decision, tolerance, and separation. Let's see what the tarot says, because this is making me feel like a bit like the fire sign reading. What is the justice and the book in the reverse? And then the high priestess with a crossroads. It's almost like somebody was trying to confuse somebody. I'm also seeing something about some sort of false documents here. There could be some sort of documents that someone tries to present, I don't know, whatever, right, to the government, whatever. Um, and it may be getting rejected. What is this? Justice and the book in the reverse. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. An Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Pentacles. King of Cups. I also see someone failing some sort of test or something. Or someone didn't do enough research about something. What is this Virgo dealing with an air sign? Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if this was to re retrieve some sort of money here. There could also be something here that is maybe going through the legal system about maybe an inheritance here. But show me more. Yeah, something is a battle to get it to move forward. What's the Three of Pentacles? The Emperor. And what did I just say? This is reminding me of the fire sign. So... 
I, I mean, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, someone here dealing with an Aries. Um, it could just be, maybe this is about someone's business with the Emperor energy here. The Emperor is like a provider. This can be someone who is like a CEO. Someone here could wear some sort of significant uniform. What is the Emperor? Why is the Emperor with the Three of Pentacles? Give me a clear message. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone here is stuck. Eight of Swords talks about a mental prison. Talks about someone who is feeling hopeless. It's almost like someone here could have tried multiple things, like I said, to either retrieve something here, but I just feel like it's not moving forward. Yeah, Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Wands. What's the Eight of Swords? Why are they in some sort of mental prison? Page of Swords, there could be some sort of delayed communication or a delayed outcome in something. What's the Eight of Swords? And that would have made the Nine of Swords energy, the chariot. The, the, what am I, this? Chariot talks about moving forward. It talks about getting a victory in a situation here. This is someone who wants to overcome some sort of obstacle. And they're, they're determined to do this. What's the what's the eight of swords and the chariot? Oh, I'm seeing the lovers and the queen of pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. What is this? The eight of wands. One more. And the Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Cups, the Hangman, the Sun. So some of you are dealing with an air sign that wants to come towards you here. Again, this energy of, I don't know if they want to start some sort of family with you, with the Lovers and the Ten of Cups here. Oh, we got the King of Cups and I'm sitting there looking at the Queen of Cups. So this definitely could be, for some of you, someone you have some sort of uh, mutual feelings for. What's this King of Cups? But again, you know, the King of Cups is someone who, you know, doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. I feel like this is someone who is keeping their feelings to themselves. We have a Queen of Wands out here and we have a Page of Cups. And we have a four of cups. Before I say anything, who is this queen of wands? Who is this queen of wands? <laughs> okay. High priestess. Show me more about this queen of wands. It's a lot of cards. Thank you for it. Okay, Virgos, they could be seeing you as this Queen of Wands. This could be someone who is very attracted to you, okay? Um, it, it could be they're attracted, yes, to your physical appearance. But it also feels like this is someone who is attracted to um, your confidence here. Your energy is what I'm hearing. The Page of Cups, why? Oh, I don't know. The High Priestess came out. There could be something as well about your intuition that this person likes with the Page of um, Cups out here. I feel like this is someone who also likes some sort of playful energy about you. What is the Ten of Pentacles? The Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Judgment. If this is someone I feel like betrayed you, okay, I feel like they may want your forgiveness. Or like I said, I don't know if someone here knows some sort of truth about something. It's almost like the Judgment is an energy of being awakened. And then you've got this Ten of Swords. 
I'm also seeing someone here do something for greed. What's the Ten of Swords? Why is that Ten of Swords here? The Six of Pentacles coming out sideways. What's the Six of Pentacles coming out sideways? Um. Justice, King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Man, I just be picking up this energy. It's almost like Virgos, you you some of my Virgos, you have people behind the scenes that you know, it could be in the past, right, that, that maybe received money for something here or tried to block something for you or they didn't give it equal give and take to the situation. <laughs> Spirit just said, did you forget that we are in a Mercury retrograde? No. And I feel like a couple of weeks ago, I even said that I feel like with the Mercury retrograde coming, this like this energy was going to intensify. And that's how it kind of feels. There's a lot of people wanting to return. And I feel like it's because it's almost like uh, two lines where good karma and bad karma. And it's almost like people lining up and coming towards, let's say, the most high with this big book. And it's like, you know, checking and seeing what you did in the past. Oh, you go over to that line. But I feel like there's a lot of people. What I'm trying to say is that is seeing Virgos and, and maybe other signs as well. Right. Just who's on the right side and who's on the wrong seeing a lot of people um, receive good karma and kind of questioning themselves as to why it's not happening for them. Well, it's because of the choices that you made. Justice. You get what you deserve. You see, I'm hearing, I feel like that's a movie as well. So I don't know if it's significant somehow, but it's almost like I'm hearing um, All's Fair in Love and War. So some chose love, right? And some chose war. But uh, what is this high priestess and the crossroads? Thank you, spirit. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Two of swords. Coming out sideways, knight of cups. tower landed on the ten of swords ten of pentacles and the nine of cups so what is this two of swords because that very much you know kind of um resonates with the crossroads right two of swords talks about a stalemate it talks about <laughs> it talks about somebody being at a crossroads imagine okay what's the two of swords coming out sideways landed on the king of cups the five of cups yeah which would make the energy of the six of cups something to do with the past you've got the six of swords at the bottom of the deck and the two of pentacles this is someone who doesn't know how to move this situation to karma waters now I, again someone could be receiving karma for something right and maybe they don't know how to get out of that situation and yeah and it's because of some sort of action that they did what's the two of swords and the five of cups Five of Cups talks about somebody crying over spilt milk, sadness, loss, grief, bereavement here. Nine of Swords in the reverse. What's the Nine of Swords in the reverse? Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. What's the Nine of Swords in the reverse? Queen of Swords. I was just about to say, I really hope that's your energy here, Virgos. But the Nine of Swords in the reverse talks about someone who is not having anxiety. They're not stressed. This is someone who is sleeping peacefully at night, okay? And Queen of Swords on the Hierophant. Some of you, I don't know, maybe you cut this person off because of some sort of differences between you. Maybe there was an issue when it comes to like religion beliefs and things like that. But for some of you, you know, you could even have been married to this person or maybe you found out that they were married, right? You do have the Three of Pentacles at the very beginning with the Emperor. What's this Knight of Cups? Yeah, world card at the bottom of the deck with the lovers and the Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot. What's the Knight of Cups? The High Priestess. And this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like for some of my Virgos, right, whoever you're dealing with, this air sign, for some of you, they definitely could be 
a, a high priest or priestess themselves, right? Maybe this is someone who is also very gifted or, you know, has very strong intuition here. I feel like this is someone that knows that they have missed some sort of um, opportunity here to have something stable, right? The Ace of Pentacles talks about the potential for abundance. It also is a, a gift from the universe here. Give me one more. The Knight of Cups, the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles. Judgment. One more. Seven of Wands, the Magician, the Hanged Man, Sun. Five of Wands and the Star. weird for some of you it, okay let me not say that what's the tower what is this tower justice again oh someone's learning some sort of life lessons here again this definitely could be someone who is realizing you know that there is a cause and effect for your decisions consequences what's the tower Give me a clear message, Spirit. What is that tower? Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Someone here is walking away from something. What's the Eight of Cups? The Two of Wands, Fear of Change indecisive restricted options for some of my virgos this could be someone who maybe wants to offer you something with the knight of pentacles right but i don't know with this tower here because it could be that they may give up on whatever this is right page of swords what's the page of swords three of cups yeah they want to reunite show me more but the tower talks about something not being built on a solid foundation. Now, again, it could be because they're going through this tower why they want to kind of come towards you here. Or they're realizing why they're going through a tower. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Man, I feel like this is someone that want to hold on to you. But what's the energy in love? Thank you, Spirit. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. Reconciliation. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. Heart to heart conversation at the bottom of the deck. What is this energy from my Virgos dealing with an air sign? Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have love call. It says someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. The cards that you have coming out, it says paradise. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. You have the phoenix coming out sideways. It says new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. So like I said, I feel like for some of you, this is someone who is going through some sort of awakening here. You also have self-indulgence. It says focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. And then you have the dragonfly. It says be light-hearted. It says finding out things come into light, adapt, change and heal. Give me four cards. What's the energy in love? Virgo's in with an air sign. Damn, I'm telling you, man. Landed right on that queen of wands as well. <laughs> it's passion. <laughs> It says insane chemistry, sparks, having fun, equal interest. And what did I say? We saw the king and queen of cups, right? Um, having fun, equal interest, burning desire. We've got a date at the bottom of the deck with abundance. Hmm. Okay. 
you have landing oh landing on the queen of wands so i don't know if there is a fire sign involved in this situation for some of you right this could be a third party with the three of pentacles out here but we have girl with a snake it says charmed or used it says enable and it says boundaries oh okay let me just keep going <laughs> what's the energy here spirit thank you show me yeah we have shock it says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, transformation. And what's the dragonfly? It says interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, want to date. For some of you where this is a third party situation, there could be a masculine that is outgrowing or like I said, seeing through this queen of wands energy. And they could be putting up boundaries with this person. So, Virgos, dealing with an air sign, let's do Aquarius, what the Aquarius doesn't want the Virgo to know. So we have ignoring, <laughs> turning over, but Aquarius, it did land on the Three of Pentacles, so this could be a friend for some of you, but it says karmic friends, it says can't fully trust them, tension, secret competition, it says keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You could have an Aquarius friend around you that kind of like um, with the ignoring card almost acts like maybe something doesn't bother them. So I'm hearing the word nonchalant, um, but I don't know. Maybe you can't trust this person. Virgo's dealing with an Aquarius. You could jog with this person for some of you or work out with them. We have Forza. It says forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. And that's sitting on top of the girl with a snake. So, Virgo's dealing with an Aquarius. You have into you. It says good chemistry, great vibes and positive. Okay. Maybe you'd be shocked to find out that an Aquarius is into you. Right, Virgo's dealing with a Gemini. Virgo's dealing with a Gemini. Oh, you have spiritual hater. <laughs> it says, hates on your spirituality. It says, light, magic, and power. You have obsessive lover. It says, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive, and karmic. So some of my Virgos, okay, with just that energy coming yeah damn thank you spirit i was just about to say it <laughs> look at this dodging bullets <laughs> i was just about to say for some of my virgos maybe with a gemini or an air sign in general right maybe you you need to use your intuition about this person coming towards you with this knight of cups okay um this knight of pentacles because maybe something would end in a tower So I don't know if this Eight of Cups is an energy of you kind of moving on. But Virgo's in a Gemini. You have dodging bullets. It says blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. I'm not even going to lie to you, okay? Now, it could be a Gemini. For some of you, I was getting this energy where there may have been like an air sign. I don't know if you saw me like pause and I said, oh, I'm not going to say that. But it felt like almost like there may be an air sign out there that is protecting you now again thank you spirit it could be archangel michael but yeah virgos um dealing with a libra thank you so at the bottom of the deck yeah we have an offer travel girl fight be careful um traveling with people that you think are friends okay I don't like the travel with the girl fight, okay? So, yeah, it reminds me of that, that story, but yeah. So, Virgo's dealing with a Libra. You have uninterested, you have dirty offer, and then you have bad karma. Oh, okay. So, one card going forward for the air sign. Thank you, Spirit the energy going forward for the air sign 
So the energy going forward for the air sign is sadness. And what's the energy going forward for the Virgo? What's the energy going forward for the Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, it's a lot of energy. It landed on the sadness, okay? So for some of Virgos, I do feel like this air sign, it almost feels like it is it is in their feelings for, I don't know, did they sell you out with selling out? Because you've got selling out, you have unleash your creativity, and then you have help from above. So again, it's making me feel like for some of Virgos, this is your energy here with the high priestess and the crossroads. For some of you, you may know that this air sign tried to block you or stop you. Or again, I don't know. They did something, though, in the past that they regret. Yeah, look at that at the bottom of the deck, entrapment. Tried to keep you stuck. So that is what I have for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign. If anything did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light.